Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, I'm glad to have you here. I had, a, I had a great weekend. I hope you did too. I actually have something to share with you. So I had one of the, the best days like of my life, no joke. Um, and you wouldn't think I was just going to get lunch with my wife. Uh, and lo and behold, someone you know steps up. They knew my name. They're like, hey, are you so-and-so? Are you, are you Kevin Jordan? I was like, yes. And it, it, he's, he's like, hey. Uh, and I don't want to put his name on blast, but uh, he's like, he, he announced himself, and it was one of my former students, one of my absolute best students. I was like, uh, just somebody who, just a fantastic young man at the time, and he still, is, just as you can see, he's grown up into an, just an amazing, amazing uh, person. And so he actually probably planted this tree behind me, and a, a lot of these other trees out in the orchard, actually the orchard in general, he was a huge part of that, uh, the parking lot beds. Actually, a lot of the biggest landscapes that we did on campus, uh, this student and, and a, a lot of his closest uh, classmates, uh, they, they helped build all this. And I, I, I would, there, these wouldn't be here without them. And so I'm so thankful to him and, and his, uh, his comrades. They were just, just so fantastic. And it's like, I can't thank them enough. And like, uh, like I said, we ran into each other and it was, um, he was so kind and, and you could tell he was doing so well. I was, I, it was literally, I was like, I couldn't have been more proud. And uh, I think it, it's enough for me. I'll like it, it. Just felt great. I won't go into it too much, but just just know that it was it was just fantastic, and it felt really good. Um, it's kind of weird. You you wouldn't realize uh, what is it? Gratitude has a higher currency value than, than like recognition or whatever. So just absolute one of the best moments ever. He was a great young man then. Like I said, still he's just phenomenal person. I think he's just he's just shooting for the stars and doing so great. Like I could not be any more proud of this student, and it, it 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 was just an amazing encounter, just just a 10, 10 out of ten uh, moment. Just felt so great. I was blown away. But in today's episode, woo! Okay, let's get that out of the way. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to be putting together a plant clone machine that uh, that we have, brand new, straight out of the box. We unboxed it in a previous video. I'll put the link right there if you want to watch me unbox it. Where I, I didn't really realize exactly what I was getting until I got it, and then I was like, wow blown away and you're gonna see right here in a moment what we got but I'm not uh, it's time to put this thing together right now it's just sitting idle in the classroom I've had there for a day or two it's time to go all right let's try to do some field trip and let's go so just to recap last week we got this wonderful wonderful device this product um, can't can't thank them enough for this opportunity, uh, this is the, the Easy Clone plant cloning system. It's a 64 Low Pro, so it's got 64 different sites um, for doing clones. We're gonna put some uh, some foam grommets in here. They're alphanumeric. We got A through H, one through eight. That's eight times eight, 64. That's math, y'all. Come on, students. You, you know what I'm talking about. So what I like about this is um, this type of plastic is actually all recyclable. Although you know what, I really don't plan on recycling it anytime soon, as long as it's a uh, functioning properly, which I'm sure it will, hopefully, we'll see. Um, but that, that's pretty cool. And you can actually feel, it's got, it's pretty sturdy uh, feel to it and has, it's, it's got a nice feel. So really simplistic design, um, these kind of machines. I, I love it. It's got just a real basic water pump, right? So that's the MAG 750, all right? Six, about 600 gallons per hour or 2,600 liters per hour, um, if you're into that. But uh, so that's the water pump, we'll get that. Uh, plugged into the wall here in a moment. I'll put that up here. Um, you can see there's a manifold that we're gonna, uh, I'll set up the tripod and I'll get some shots of this, but basically really simple. We're just gonna install these little tips into here and those are um, little pl plastic emitters that are gonna spray the water out and almost like a, um, like a, almost like a mist maybe. We'll see, we'll see how fine it gets, um, but it'll definitely spray it laterally and out and about to create a lot of moisture of really small water droplets spring about um, this uh, will help keep the water in the reservoir nice and clean and clear and the water from getting all gunked up to my uh, knowledge so we'll make sure that we add this in the proper amount and then life will be good so if, I think for today we're really just gonna focus on getting the system put together uh, we might be able to add some plants we'll see but we'll definitely just try to get our system set up as much as possible in this rack we have here we could um, we could have our system just growing just the way it is just now because we do have access to power but we might end up, because uh, we have our grow lights, our LED grow lights. And so what we're gonna do is we'll reinstall them up here, hanging down. Uh, and they'll, they're you know pretty low profile. They don't put off a lot of heat. 
but we'll see maybe we might actually have to lower and adjust the rack uh, over time but for today we're gonna get this thing installed filled up full of water uh, let's check it out let's see so I'm gonna do my best to follow these instructions here I'll put these right in front of you let's see if we can get a read on those so I'm gonna do my best to uh, follow these instructions the best we can but we might not be able to do exactly to, to their requirements and specifications but we'll do it as close close as possible uh, this says number one install misters into manifold attach manifold to pump using the provided adapter place the pump in the center of the reservoir and suction feet securely in place okay so we'll start with the misters and that's really simple next to these that's these little plastic if uh little tips if for the students and folks out there who are into lego if you like doing lego then you know what's up because uh really simple so and these actually have a little thread on there not like a filament but like you can see the threads just like a screw and so those are going to gently screw in obviously you, you don't need to put them super tight you're not going to be tightening it down with the the force of a thousand winds but nice and snug just snug you fit right in let me pour these all out looks like we got a few more to go so here let me put all these in like i said it just takes a few turns oh there it goes it'll find the thread and it seats right in about about three about three full turns at best and you're good to go hopefully i'm in the right spot on that there you go so we got one two three four Let's see, there's three rows of three. How many is there gonna be all together? Three rows of three. Let's see, who can figure that out? If you're an adult, I, I hope you figured it out already. If you're one of my students, I also hope you figured it out already. All right, these are coming together. Like I said, real quick, you don't need to use a, a hand tool or anything unless you really um, need, need a little strength in your hand, but because I think if you use a tool, you might just end up breaking it if you were going too hard. Just nice and snug. These just give that water a fun path to take, to diffuse it and spray it out in all directions. That way, if we didn't, these would just be shooting up like little beams of water and bouncing off the middle uh, of that the tray. And so we want, we want all the water to spray out in all these directions. So that way, as the plant stems are, are dangling in darkness, they're just getting this sweet little oxygen rich spray of water just misting up on them in the proper amount and then life will be good so we're going to take this oh all right so that's ready all right now we got this probably should have opened it ahead of time but here we go oh yeah nothing like a oh that brand new plasticky smell and fresh fresh brand new rubber love it okay i'm just gonna dump it all out who cares there we go. I'm gonna dump that out. You can see, ooh, here we go. So every now and then we use a lot of these pumps in our aquaponic systems and they work They work really well for us. We get, we were lucky, but um, we have to clean them out all the time in those systems because they get, you know, gunked up with fish poo and whatnot. So uh, we're gonna see, what's up? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, there we go. Okay, boom. So we got our plug, kind of dangled that off the side for now. Let's see here. Boom, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna go position that right in the center, push it down. Let's see, adapter ahoy. I don't know if you can you guys get a look on that. Okay, yep. So just same thing, just hand tightening. Just boom. I mean, if you really were afraid of leaks, you could use a little plumber's tape in there, but I don't think that's gonna be an issue. It should fit just fine. Um, it shouldn't, shouldn't be leaking. There's not a ton of pressure under, underneath it the system and I'm just the same thing I'm just going to gently hand tighten this no no tools required in that regard which I like same thing I don't think you need to go crazy on it just enough to make sure that it's snug and that you're not having a ton of leakage if you're cranking it down really tight you're gonna end up breaking plastic because when you you know putting plastic to plastic it only has oh there we go that's probably about an, it right there we'll see how that works and we'll test her out too we'll, we'll test make sure everything's working properly yeah. so now we're gonna set this right over the top of it oh there we go that's it I think I do I do believe that's good to go so we have some collars here nice different multicolored ones I kind of like I mean my other system just uses the the plain old black ones 
which are okay, but I've had them for so long you could tell the quality. Uh, they're not breathing. They're not really. They don't have a lot of flexibility anymore. I'll probably have to replace those ones. Would be the smart, smart thing to do. But uh, here they are. So here, so you can see right here. So we're really just going to just grab these and just fill them up. And uh, I bet my students would love to do this. So I'll probably end up actually pulling these out after this video and uh, maybe letting one of them try it out because I, I want them to kind of experience the system too. So I've got to videotape it <laughs> and we'll probably have them redo it as, a, as an exercise. But you can see right here, uh, they just fill right up and they just they, they, they occupy that little space. What's going to happen is you can see they have like a pre-cut little uh, cleft in there, right? Little cleftal horizon. Um, and then you're going to put your stem in there, right? And then your plant will be dangling down into space, your, your, your plant stem, and then it'll form roots off that, hopefully, right? That's what we're, that's what we're shooting for. But uh, it's pretty cool. I like the design. The feel of that, of that grommet actually feels pretty sweet, or the collar, I guess they call it. Um, but there's a lot of them, a lot of them. So I'm going to, so I'm going to speed this up and uh, let's see what it looks like at the end. So we're filling it full of water. You want to make sure that that pump is fully submerged uh, because if it's not, if it just has a little bit of water, it's going to be sucking air. It's going to be overheating the, that, that electric pump, water pump. It really needs water all around it to keep it cool. It's water cooled uh, in its own reservoir. And so if you don't have enough water in there, the pump's life will be shorter than it should be. So you really want to make sure it's filled up properly. I'm gonna go to that little internal, right? It's probably pretty close. I'll probably do a little bit more. Grommets are in, the reservoir is filled up, the pump is fully submerged. Um, I added some of their product, uh, this clear res. It helps, I believe, keep the reservoir nice and clean and the water flowing good. Um, I added, it says one ounce per five gallons. And so we did that. And now the moment of truth, I'm gonna turn on the pump Let's see if it works. Whoa! It almost sounded like a solid toilet flushing. Uh, so it's pumping good. Let me see if I can pop a few of these grommets off here just to show you. Um, if I open the lid, it's gonna spray water everywhere. So I don't know if I wanna do that just yet. But um, let's see if we can get a better look down in there. Uh, let me pop a few of these off. Oh! Do you see that? go in there a little bit I don't know. yeah you see that water just spraying about you can hear it and see it now it's shooting out the top I don't want that to happen too much so I'm going to uh, put those back and cover them back up but I hear it and feel it and you can actually even go grommet to grommet to check to see if each grommet like especially the ones on the outside are getting adequate moisture oh look at that nice droplets all over it let me check the other corner furthest from the manifolds boom look at that little little water droplets already all over it so that's gonna be fantastic I can't wait to put some actual cuttings in this we'll do that in our next video so we actually have set up the lights let me look up and show you their setup. we got two LED grow lights from Phillips gonna do great we got the whole system set up ready to rock plugged in let me uh, let's go ahead let there be light boom so there's our grow lights they don't put off a, a, a lot of excess heat they're gonna grow and give us some light for some of our cuttings to uh, feel like they're out in a you know a nice you know a nice sunny day. And so we got those plugged in. And you know what? And let's actually go ahead and go ahead and plug in, please, the um, our mister. See if that works really quick. Make sure the pump's working. See if you can hear that. Oh yep, yeah, working really good. All right, so go ahead and un go ahead and plug everything off. Yep, perfect. Thank you, sir. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna test the water to make sure that our pH is in the right range. Uh, the manual here says that we need to get a pH of 5.8. So let's, we've, we, I, th I believe we've adjusted and we've done just that. Our tap water comes out very high in alkaline. It was, uh, what was it, like high sevens? It's like 7.6, 7.7, give or take. And so uh, let's see if we, can, uh, if we can actually get that elusive 5.8 pH. 
So as you can see, I've got a, a fine student here. He's utilizing our waterproof pH tester. And the manual says we want to get it around 5.8. We've adjusted the pH a little bit. Um, we actually use some lemon juice. Uh, we don't have an actual pH down here uh, that would normally be utilized in hydroponics. We just use it. We had a couple lemons down the orchard, squirted a few in there, and we got it down. It was at like 8, actually, when we started. It was uh, high uh, or like low 8s, high 7s. And so I know the light there is a little, a little hard to see, but we're at a five, five, nine. I can live with that. Five, nine. Oh, there we go. Five, eight. Woo. It just switched. That's how you know the pH meter it takes a minute or two for it to fully adjust. And once it settles out, I believe we got it settled on a five, eight. Let me bring this a little closer just so you can see it. Boom. Five, eight. Oh, now it's tasting the air. So five, eight, nice and acidic. So that way those roots can shoot out, get nice and white and flush. And we will have some happy clones but really excited to have this product uh, in our classroom. So thankful and grateful. Uh, I can't wait to actually utilize it and see if it works. But as you can hear, and as you see, uh, it's pretty robust and it's flowing like crazy right now. I think uh, that manifold is spraying out really, really good. And so I, I hope this all works great. From our garden to yours, happy gardening, best wishes. We can't wait to have you back. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please dig into that like button and subscribe with us. Come back for more garden adventures, or you can share your garden adventures with us. We'd love to learn from you. All right, take care now. Bye-bye then.